also started four years ago to create a place for English language professionals in the region to connect, have a specific conference that focuses on our job um, and specific English learners in the region. We now have country chapters in China, in Thailand, Laos, Singapore, South Korea, um, here in Vietnam. This is our fourth annual conference, so ELSA has grown each year, and this is our first year outside of Bangkok. So it's kind of an exciting year that we'll be able to extend the network um, and, and the conference broader. There are three strands for the conference this year, academic language, fossilization, and assessment. There will be workshops and sessions geared towards those three strands so that teachers can walk away with some of that knowledge and strategies of how to help students who have fossilized errors. Fossilized errors are errors that students have, or anyone, they have been making for a long period of time and they are pretty much cemented in the way that they communicate. A lot of it is, has to do with academic language learning and, and not just ESL in general. There is a register where we use mostly social English and that can be what you use on the playground, what the kids will use on the playground or with their friends. And then academic English is words and structures and phrases and patterns that are common in an academic setting. The conference is great because you can come away with activities and uh, strategies that you can use right afterwards in class. Um, it's very little theory and it's a lot of um, just concrete stuff that you can use. After last year's ELSA conference, um, I just I amassed a lot of information that was pertinent to what I do. I think that we often see other schools, international schools in Vietnam as competitors to our own school, but really I think it's a rich opportunity that we can, you know, teachers are naturally collaborative, so being able to have those collaborative discussions and share um, new tools that we're using or, or have that network. The theme of the conference is uh, moving beyond the plateau, and that's, I, th I think that's something that every ESL teacher um, can relate to and, and probably struggles with. For instance, a, a student who has been enrolled in EAL for a long time, um, they're almost ready to exit the program, they're almost ready to, to go into mainstream classes without the extra support. It's how to guide those students, how to help those students become more advanced in their proficiency. Our keynote speaker this year is Mariana Castro, who is at the WIDA Consortium. And what that group does is it works to create assessments and develop resources to help English language learners. And Mariana has actually done a lot of work around academic language, redefining academic language, and providing different strategies for teachers to use to help um, their students feel more comfortable listening to reading and writing and just overall using academic language. I'm the only middle school EAL teacher here at my school, so being able to talk to other middle school EAL teachers who have a job that's similar to mine is a great opportunity. I don't often get to talk with EAL teachers at the high school level, so it's the networking and going to workshops um, that are directly applicable to what I do. I think that Vietnam does have a rich international school scene, which is really, um, which is really cool. It creates a lot of opportunities for us as professionals to, to broaden our practice by getting to know each other. We're really excited to have the conference at SSIS this year, just because we're really proud of our school, we're really proud of the things that we're doing here, and we also want people to see Vietnam. Uh, many of us have been here for three years, four years, five years, even longer, and we just want people to experience what we get to experience every day. Hi, guys. <laughs>